Hi everyone, this is Julia, and today I'm just giving you a quick peek into our math basket. So this is not all of our math materials. I do have a lot of Montessori math materials as well, but these, um, this is the basket we pull out on most days, and it's um, our Charlotte Mason inspired math. Um, so I did a um, video recently on how I'm doing math with um, particularly my kindergartner and combining Montessori and um, Charlotte Mason inspired math. Um, and I mentioned we have a math basket, so I just wanted to give you a peek inside. So I'm gonna keep this pretty fast. Um, we have a bunch of different manipulatives in here. So um, these are popsicle sticks or craft sticks. Um, they are not from popsicles, I just bought them, the set and we have them in 10 bundles. Um, these are what we use most often if we're, um, when we're exchanging tens because they are easy to get in and out of their bundle. Um, let's see. Oh, this is chalk that goes with our chalkboard. I'll come back to that. Um, let me keep showing you the manipulatives we have here. Um, these are just little pieces of wood I found at um, the craft store. I think Michael's is where I usually um, shop. It's a dangerous place for me. I find way too many fun things there. Um, but I like those. I like that they're natural little birch things. I also found those, these boxes there as well. They're just little... Um, I don't, I don't, they're not, they're sturdier, a little sturdier than cardboard, but it's kind of that feel. I don't know what that's called. Um, but this one's a heart shape, which I thought was cute. Let's see. I also have these beads. I just happen to have them in green here. Um, I actually also have some in pink, um, that are with some of our other Montessori materials. Um, and I think you can find them. I think they're designed to go like inside a bowl, like vases and bowls. So you can kind of find them in that decorative section there. They come in little packs. I think this is two packs together. Um, but these work really well. Um, I also like pulling these out when we do play the game Sum Swamp um, to use as manipulatives because they're, the color green just seems to go well with the swamp for me. And that's that. And again, it's a box from Michael's. And then we have in here a bunch of different color buttons, also from Michaels. I just took one big trip and found a bunch of manipulatives when I was putting this together. And we also have a bunch of buttons in 10 bundles that we tied off. Um, however, these, like once you undo them, then you'd have to restring them. So I found that these are good if you're just working like with 10s, as long as you don't have to um, like exchange and turn the tens. Well, I guess you could, ex you can exchange, um, you know, exchange this for 10 of these. Um, but I find that I don't want to have to re bundle a lot of them. So I don't tend to, um, like cut these apart and put them back together. Um, so if we're doing something like that, I do like to use the craft or popsicle sticks for that, but they didn't all fit in in my bucket once we had tied them all together so you can see there's a bunch in here along some notes and a pencil um for our other manipulatives these are it's a little bag that i made um from some fabric i had i have a lot of random fabric lying around because i like to buy it um these are just dried beans um so those come in helpful as well um, I like using these, I think, more than my daughter does. I think they feel really good on your hand. Okay, I'm working one-handed here, so Let's see if we can close that. Okay, these are probably my daughter's favorite manipulative to use. Whoa. Oh, and see, it's kind of a mess in here. I probably should have cleaned it before showing you, but hey, real life. Putting that one back. Okay. Um, so these are little coin pouches that I made just out of felt and some leather um, string here um this is my daughter's her favorite color is pink so i made hers pink i made my green mine green and um currently we just have we have pennies and dimes and nickels and here we haven't gone through quarters yet because we're just doing the the ones the fives and the tens um but she loves you sometimes we just use them for math sometimes we actually practice with like the you know exchanging money and make it more like money focused um but i will i will tie that back up later um, let's see what else in here. Um, these are cards with the numbers uh, one through, is it one through 10 or one through nine? I'm pretty sure it's one through nine on here. And there's just, there's four different colors and there's a number in each color. So there's an eight in pink, in yellow, in blue, orange, 
I don't know. There, there's a bunch. Um, when we were first doing our number lessons, we used these. She had to find all of that. So like if we were doing um, eights, then I would spread all these out and she'd have to find all the eights. Um, so it just helps reinforce number recognition. We, um, we haven't really used them in a little while. We, we basically just use them for those initial les lessons in numbers, um, but I am saving them in here for when I do them with my son or in case we want to use them for something in the future. Maybe we'll, you could always match them with manipulatives and such. Okay, so then these, I'm actually gonna start with these are just two, um, they're actually slate boards um, that I found at Michael's. Uh, this was an exciting find for me. I love these. Um, they're really good to work on. And this that I pulled out earlier is just a little jar of different color chalks so we can change up the colors. And this is actually, it's a it's a cloth wipe for <laughs> that I had for um, when I was diapering my kids. And um, it works really well to wipe off the chalk. So it lives in there as well. And then last but not least is her math notebook. And I got this from Simply Charlotte Mason. I will link to it below. Um, and actually that's mine. I have, I, I at the beginning copied a couple pieces of paper just so I could um, show her on some scrap paper. Um, I don't tend to need to do that now. We do we do on the chalkboard first most of the time anyway. And then she'll transfer it and I can just tell her like one, you know, use one square. Um, so this was when we first started with um, the numbers, we actually only did one. We did one row each time we did a number. I had her practice writing them. Um, and this is real. It's, it's a nice record of how far she's come. Um, we, um, we don't do, we don't work in it every week even. So, there's not a ton in here. Um, this was us doing working on teen numbers, which we may come back to to reinforce because those are tricky still. Um, and we started doing so we so to get to here, there were a lot of equations done with manipulatives over many days and I think weeks before we actually practiced writing on the chalkboard. And then it was written on the chalkboard several times or different equations, but like set for several lessons before we actually wrote some equations in our math notebook. Um, so it's again, it's something that comes out at special times. And then we also learned how to write it vertically, but most of the time she still just does it horizontally. Um, these are our most recent lessons. Um, we were reviewing um, the 10 times tables, actually. She has those memorized. We've been um, just kind of playing a game where we toss a beanbag and recite them, and she, she likes the 10s. So um, I just wrote in, started leaving some off, and she really liked it after doing these ones and asked me to do more, so I just left more and more off every time. And then um, we played the game I See 10, um, which, in which you find um, different numbers that add up to 10. And so just from playing that, she wanted to write down 5 plus 5 equals 10. And this is supposed to just be 1 here and 0 here. Um, but we had to have a discussion after, after that, and I just left it. Um, and 7 plus 3 equals 10, and, um, and so on. Uh, she doesn't have all of them memorized, but she was really excited about it. And so I was, I was excited that she was excited to write it in her math notebook. So um, that's where we have left off at this point. Um, but I just wanted to give you a peek. Um, so that is what is in our math basket.